Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here. I'm going to talk a little bit about why you might start to see emails going into a Google group stop arriving into your email account. And now this applies to accounts in Google Workspace that are using Google Groups for business. Okay, so it's quite a specific uh, item, but that's what we're going to have a quick look at. Now, um, the first thing to establish, of course, is are you using groups for business? So what you do is you come into your admin.google.com, go to apps, Google Workspace, and then groups for business, and you'll see if it's off or on for anyone in here. Now, if it's off, uh, the next bit won't be applicable uh, because you won't have those settings or that ability to do so. So what you can do is use your email log search to see what is happening to those emails. And this will also give you some pointers as to what you need to do next. So the way you find that is you go to reporting and then email log search. And in your email log search, you can put in a date range. So with any luck, you'll know uh, who has sent it and when they sent it. And also obviously where it's being sent to. So we're gonna put the email address in of my uh, group. That's the destination that it's getting sent to. I'm gonna click on search. That's going to show me the email that I'm looking for and obviously I can then click on that and it will show me all of the little bits of information about where it came in through. Now uh, you'll start to see in here if it's not working that it might say well it's been flagged for spam or it's been put into moderation or something similar. So if you obviously then find that in your groups for, groups for business you are using groups for business then the next step you can do is open up a, a tab and go to groups.google.com. Now, if you're the administrator or the, ma or the manager of that particular group, this is where you'll be able to start to change some settings. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go into my group. I'm gonna click on group settings and go into general. There's a lot of stuff in here. Google's not done a very good job at organizing these settings. So with a bit of patience, you're gonna to have to scroll down and you are going to look for message moderation in here, okay? Now you might find that this says uh, moderate messages from non-members. That's especially a problem if you're receiving emails to this group externally and they're coming into you. Um, and moderate all messages means that every message that comes in is gonna get stuck in a holding and you need to click a, bu a button to approve them. So you probably just wanna change that to no moderation. Uh, new member restrictions, again, if it's a public group um, and you're using it as a distribution list, then um, you don't want any restrictions there. And then spam related stuff, uh, yeah, you probably wanna say, look, just moderate it and pop it into a box. And what'll happen is as a, as a moderator or a manager, you'll get an email that says there's spam in this group. And um, you can turn that off. Uh, you can also just say, just outright reject it. Um, but um, pop, popping it into the moderator and notify is the, kind of the nice balance for that. Obviously your account and your organization settings will also filter out that spam too, but this is a really good starting point for just making sure that those come through. And obviously if you do have some uh, messages in that group that are pending, uh, or are in for moderation, you'll find those under conversations and pending, and you'll uh, see those emails that need moderating in here. So you can obviously then just go tick them and send them through. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that helps you sort out a delivery issue with regards to Google Groups. Uh, you might be using it as a distribution list. If you like this video, please take the time to like and subscribe below for more.